July 28th, Blessed Archangel of Kalatafimi, Confessor, First Order. Born of, a noble, born of a noble family at Calatafini in Sicily, Archangel was, from his earliest youth, a serious turn of mind, was of a serious turn of mind and averse to the pleasures of the world. In order not to become infected by the world, he withdrew to a hermitage in the neighborhood of his native town, where he devoted himself to meditation and prayer. His tender devotion to the Queen of Heaven often brought him the grace of her visitations. The repute of his piety soon spread through the neighboring localities so that people came to ask his prayers, to seek his advice, and to have the sick blessed by him. Since many received wonderful assistance, the crowds kept on increasing. This considerably disturbed Archangel's piety. He feared, too, the, dangers, the dangerous att attacks of vanity. So he decided to withdraw to the city of Alcamo, where he was unknown, and there rendered service to the sick and the poor in the hospital. But here also his virtues made him the object of veneration, and he repaired to a lonely cave in which he lived until the order was issued by the Apostolic See that all hermits should enter some established convent. Archangel then begged for the holy habit in the Franciscan friary at Palermo, where he received, where he received it at the hands of blessed Matthew of Giganti. Very likely he received holy orders also about this time. Since his return to Alcamo, since, since his return to Alcamo was urgently desired, and the people offered to remodel the hospital, which was now empty, into a Franciscan friary, he was sent there by his superiors. Under his guidance, a model convent of the strictest observance was established. He himself led in zeal for prayer, in the practice of humility, of poverty, and of rigorous mortification. But his zeal for the honor of God and the salvation of souls urged him sometimes to leave his beloved solitude, to preach the gospel, and to lead sinners to repentance. God often confirmed his work by miracles. Weakened by, his, weakened by works of penance and old age, he died in the year 1460. Miracles continued to occur at his grave in the Franciscan church at Alcamo. And for this reason, Pope Gregory XVI approved his veneration. On retreats. As the Spirit of God drew blessed Archangel throughout his life to holy solitude, so the same godly spirit draws many laymen who are really in earnest about their salvation to the solitude of some holy house to reflect exclusively, exclusively upon the salvation of their souls in the spiritual exercises of a so-called retreat. There, according to the prophet, a man shall sit solitary and hold his peace because he has taken it upon himself. Heavenly, excuse me. There, according to the prophet, a man shall sit solitary and hold his peace because he has taken it upon himself heavenly things. Lamentations 3.28. The Lord will then speak to his own more clearly than amid the noise of the world. I will lead her into the wilderness and I will speak to her heart. OC 2.14. Ought we not to esteem such solitude and long for it? Consider what, it, what is meant by the spiritual exercises. A person retires into solitude for three, five, or eight days where he follows an exact routine of spiritual exercises, especially serious meditations upon the eternal truths as they are set down before him in a discourse or a reading. These truths are above all the purpose for which a man is here on earth, the great evil of sin and death, judgment and hell, but there are also proposed, but there are also proposed for meditation the mercy of God, the incarnation, the life and suffering of Christ, 
from which we learn to practice of every virtue and are filled with the love of God. Finally, there is proposed the eternal reward if we remain faithful in the service of God unto the end. Is there not a divine wisdom in this arrangement? It has proved itself so fruitful that St. Francis de Sales could say 50 years after St. Ignatius, the little book of the exercises has saved more souls than there are letters of the alphabet in it. Should it not also be able to save your soul? Consider what fruits a retreat should produce in us. The immediate fruit should be a complete and sincerely repentant confession to cancel all the sins of our past life and make us ready to appear before the judgment seat of God. But then too, as we see, but then too, as we see from the experience of blessed Archangel, it must make us faithful to the duties of our state of life, as well as zealous according to our vocation and ability in leading others on the way of salvation. Have your past retreats produced this fruit? Prayer of the Church. Most merciful God, who didst grant blessed Archangel, thy confessor, in his love for solitude, the special grace to announce the gospel, grant us thy servants, that following his, his example, we may also arrive at his reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Archangel of Kalatathimi, pray for us.